Hi, welcome to the Information Security 101 class. This class is designed to give you all necessary knowledge in order to master cybersecurity and information security foundation. My name is Ahmed Hifni, and I am an information security instructor and consultant. I have over than 10 years of experience in information security management and various roles in cybersecurity operations. During these years, I managed to get a lot of cybersecurity and information security related certifications, certifications such as ISO 27000, 27002, and CISA, SISM, as well as some other technical certification from multiple vendors. Regarding this class, our course will include the following basics. First, we will start discussion about security foundations. We will understand what do we mean by CIA triad, and what do we mean, what do we mean by confidentiality, or integrity or availability. We will also discuss some of the various threats. You cannot protect yourself from what you don't know. In this case, or for that reason, we will start to identify what is the various security threats that are around us and how to mitigate all of these threats. Then we will discuss about mitigation. We will talk about security controls and different kinds of security controls that we know so far. And then we will get a discussion about policies, standards, and procedures. And essentially, you cannot apply a security control unless you have a policy that requires this control to be in place. So we will understand what is the difference between these types of documents and what it is its relation to cybersecurity controls and the information security management. Then we will go through introduction about the risk management topic. As we may know, we do risk management decision in every decision in our life. So we are going the same or we will do the same in relation to information security and cybersecurity attacks and different threats. Then we will gain understanding about network overview. We will discuss what do we mean by OSI model? What do we mean by layer two, layer three, layer four? What do we mean by transport header? What is the difference between TCP and UDP and all of this stuff? And then we might get some information about submitting and review for IP address and subnet mask concepts. Then it is very important to understand what is the different states in data lifecycle. So we are going to discuss what do we mean by data at rest, data in motion, and what do we mean by data archiving and data disposal, and how to secure the data across of all of these life stages. After then we will talk a little bit about cryptography and we will discuss what is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption and the difference between EES, for example, and this, which is stand for data encryption standard and which encryption protocol or which protocol is considered more secure. And what could be the risk if you are not using proper encryption while you are communicating the data over the internet. After that, we will talk about identity and access management and access control. We will define or understand what do we mean by triple A and what do we mean by multi-factor authentication, how to keep your password secure, and what is the different attacks that may target passwords and could cause damage or risk to your own password. So how to secure yourself against it and what is the various attacks that could uh, hurt the security or leak the security of passwords. Then we will discuss what do we mean by system hardening and what do we mean by network hardening? What is the different security tools that we can use in order to harden our system or keep our system secure? What about CIS guidelines? And what do we mean by firewall? What is the DOS attack and what is the man in the middle attack? And how to protect your network against the man in the middle attack or RP spoofing or IP spoofing? So we will discuss a little, a lot of information that are related to networking systems and databases as well as the web application attacks so we will understand first what makes the website looks like and after then we will understand why web browsers are able to understand the javascript and why javascript is important language or important scripting language in order to make a website and how attacker can misuse this uh, feature or this uh, programming language to make this programming language create malicious attacks such as cross-site scripting. And also we will understand what do we mean by SQL injection. Then we will go to non-related 
attacks or non or an attacks that are not related to technology so we will discuss social engineering and why it is important to not overlook the physical security measures and what do we mean by business continuity what do we mean by business impact assessment what do we mean by disaster recovery plan and business continuity plan and also why business continuity plan is important and what is the different remote sites that can be used to restore the service what do we mean by backup and what is a different kind of backup then we will discuss what is the incident response and what are the stages of the incident response and what is the relation between incident response and business continuity and then we will discuss what is the frameworks and standards that are widely used in cyber security and information security we will discuss a lot of properties related to NIST framework that is for such as NIST critical success factor and we will understand what are the key pillars that make NIST uh, framework is efficient we will also discuss what do we mean by GDPR or general data protection regulation also we will discuss what is the BCI DSS or payment card industry data security standard and then we might get a quick overview about the cyber security trends and challenges and of course we will discuss what do we mean by virtualization cloud computing containerization and its challenges from the security point of view that's why what we are going to discuss so far i hope you are you, you are going to enjoy this content and believe me when i tell you that by studying all of this content you will be ready not only by the basics but also all of this content can help you in case you are studying or preparing for a certification such as certified information system auditor or certified information security manager and even if you are trying to prepare to uh, certifications such as CISSP all the content that is going to discuss during this video will help you a lot preparing for these exams last but not least all what I need from you is support my channel and hit subscri the subscribe button and activate the notification so whenever we release a new content you will be notified whenever this content was going to release it. so let's start in our first topic and let's start in our course i hope you enjoy it